If the Red River Riders have a home game, there's a good chance, a really good chance. Last time I checked, I got a million and a half photos. Tim Sanger will be there. Anywhere somebody wants me to be, I'll be there. For over a decade. You're lucky you almost made me miss that. <laughs> Tim has volunteered his time to capture moments. You know, I can take uh, a split second out of a, somebody's life and shoot a picture one one thousandth of a second and it's captured forever. He started taking pictures of his kids when they were in sports, but then he continued snapping for parents and grandparents. But there's a reason why Tim has dedicated so much money. It was a choice between this and a pickup. And I chose this knowing that I'd probably get the pickup anyway. And time. This week it'll probably be twice, three times. To capturing moments of strangers for strangers. I was uh, watching the news one night and they had a story on a Shanley football player, a sophomore. That was Nick Bailey. He died suddenly from complications from an enlarged heart back in 2009. Just a few weeks before that, I had shot the Red River sophomore team playing, and I remembered, you know, when they said his number, I remembered I had a photo. He sent that photo to the family and didn't expect what came next. The picture that I took up above the door, and when the football team came out for the next three, four years, they would touch that picture and as a, you know, a memory to, to Nick. And, and it was kind of a humbling moment. That moment stayed with Tim. I still carry the newspaper story around, so, you know, sometimes when, like, it gets long, I might want to go home, and I just say, you know, I read that story, or I think of that story, and say, you know, that next shot might be the one that somebody may need. That one one thousandth of a second. And I just get to do something I love, so. Is what makes Tim our gem of the week. Ryan Laughlin, WDAZ News.